Here's problem 3010. <clears throat> a straight wire length 8 meters is bent to form a square. If the wire carries a current of 20 amps, what is the magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the square? Let's imagine what the square might look like. Let's make it big. If it has a total circumference of 8 meters, that means it's, it's 2 meters on a side. Let's say the current is going around like this. So the value of this current is 20 amps. And we want to find the magnetic field at the center of this square. Call it point P. So let's imagine what we want to do is to break this up into um, four segments. One here two, three, four. Find the various contributions from these four segments and add them together, superimpose them together. Now if we look at segment number one, we have a current that's flowing in the negative y direction as I've drawn it. And our theta one would be this first theta here, and our theta two would be from the direction of the current pointing back to the point P. So there's our theta 2. So in this case, theta 1 would be equal to 45 degrees. And theta 2 would be equal to 90 plus 45, or 135 degrees. So if we were to calculate the magnetic field due to number 1, that would be mu naught i over 4 pi r cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta 2. So this would be equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7. Oops. 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times the current, which is 20 amps, over 4 pi. Now our distance r is the perpendicular distance to this point. And as we're seeing it, that would be this distance right here. So that is our r, and that's half the distance of a side, so r is equal to one, one meter. So in this case, our r is just one meter. And we have cosine of 45 degrees minus cosine of 135 degrees. It doesn't matter that I have the, the, the theta in degrees rather than radians now because we're taking the cosine of it so we're doing a function of it, and hence uh, that's going to um, negate the, the degrees itself. Okay, so <clears throat> get rid of the four pi's here, and this is 2 times 10 to the minus 6. Cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, and the cosine of 135 degrees is a negative square root of 2 over 2. So this is going to be 2 times the square root of 2 over 2 times 2 over 2 times 10 to the minus 6. 1 and 2's cancel out. And 2 times the square root of 2 is, uh, well, I should know that. 2.83, so we have 2.83 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla from one segment. And if we were to use the right hand rule, this magnetic field would be going into the page as we're looking at it. Well, if we look at all the segments, they're all contributing in the same way. In other words, by symmetry, we could rotate this and it would look no different for each of the other four segments. So each segment is going to contribute the same in the same direction. So we could say that the magnetic field of point P is actually equal to four times this magnetic field of number one. So that's going to be equal to four times 2.83 times 10 to the minus six. And that's going to give me 11.3 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla they're all in the same direction 
so that all would be into the page. So the magnetic field at the center of the square is going to be 11.3 microtesla into the page, and that's our answer.